Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashley, and today I have tons of things to get done, but mainly laundry. So there's gonna be tons of laundry motivation, plus some cleaning. So if y'all need some motivation to get up and get some things done around your house, then you're definitely in the right place. I hope you put me on and clean along with me. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by gathering all of the laundry around the house because there's seriously so much. So I like to first go ahead and gather it all up, get it together, and then I'm gonna be sorting it. So we're gonna start off in the boys' room, gathering the clothes, plus what I like to do on like the typical day when I'm not filming like a full on cleaning video is I actually clean as I go. So as you can see, I really don't have that much in here, but I'm gonna go ahead, pick up the little things that are on the floor while I gather the laundry. That way it looks clean in here. So I definitely like doing this in the boys room because they're a bit younger. I do make Austin clean up, but because Ethan comes in here too and destroys the room, I'll just do a quick tidy up in here. And today I'm also gonna be tidying up Adrian's room because I needed to vacuum in there. I'm not doing a deep clean, just a, you know, sprucing up. That way I can vacuum and get all of the dirty clothes off of the floor. Austin is my seven-year-old and he has a tendency to pull his shirts off and knock a bunch down at the same time. So I'm often coming in here and hanging up clean shirts back into his closet because he just knocks them all down. And as you can see, I quickly grabbed the laundry out of the bathroom. We keep a basket underneath the cabinet. That way it's just hidden and a nice little storage space. And you can see Adrian's room is a bit messy. It's surprisingly not too bad. If you guys have been here for a while, then you know how bad her room gets. I'll be sure to put my last like huge deep clean in here up in the cards for you guys because it was a good one. Her room gets so filthy. She is definitely my messy child, but she's also my like super sweet and helpful child too, but she just has a tendency to leave her room a hot mess. <laughs> But now that we got all the laundry from upstairs, we're gonna head downstairs to my bedroom and get the last bit. And then you guys will see how much clothes I'm attempting to get done all in one day. This is what I currently have in the laundry room. I need to clean our bath mats. Adrian brought those down yesterday, and then we also have this basket full. So we're gonna bring everything into my bedroom and start sorting. I'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding. Whatever that is choking your chest. And there is all the laundry. Up your mind. Now I'm here by your side. 
Whenever I am super determined to get all of the laundry done, I love dumping it out on my bedroom floor and sorting it right here because for one, it's a constant reminder that I need to finish the laundry. And for two, I will get through it so much faster because it's right there as soon as I walk in. So if you guys also struggle with forgetting about your laundry, try dumping and sorting it somewhere where it's visible because you will be much more likely to not forget about it and get it done as quickly as possible if you want to pay your door you you pika you got me pika you can go we go yeah mmm that is delicious thank you now you got two that is Ethan, my two-year-old, and you guys, he's seriously so sweet. He was playing with Play-Doh while I was doing the laundry, and he was bringing in food that he was making me, so I just had to leave that part in there because he is so sweet. Alright, I have my piles, I have my towels lights those i need to spray down and i have one shirt that's gonna have to go in a separate cycle as a delicate and then i also have my darks pile so first i'm gonna spray all my stuff down with some shout get the stains out and then i'll probably get started with the towels because they actually smell pretty stinky so i want to get those in the washing machine And of course I had a load of laundry in my dryer so I quickly put it on a refresh cycle that way I could get the wrinkles out and then we're gonna be folding those as soon as I load the first load of laundry and I am sharing what laundry detergent I'm currently using I did pick up the Sam's Club brand laundry detergent so far I'm really liking it I feel like it's getting my cl my clothes clean and smelling good and of course I am still Still using my true earth as well I just kind of switched them out mainly because I'm running low on true earth so I'm kind of switching back and forth and then I'm also using Odo band and Lysol sanitizer I if you guys saw my video I found the Lysol sanitizer behind my washer and dryer and so I'm finishing that up and then switching over to my Odo band just because I'm almost out of the Lysol so I want to get through that one first but I'm just um, using a mixture of laundry detergents. And then you guys know my go-to beads are the Downy Ocean Mist. You guys, I'm seriously obsessed with those. If you have not tried them or smelled them, check them out in your stores. If you have a Sam's Club membership, you can order it online, or at least I know I can. I can't find it in stores, but they do have it online and you can get that huge thing for like $17. And when I, the last time I went to Target, I saw the Ocean Mist Downy Beads and it was like a small container and I want to say it was like $14 or $15. I couldn't believe it. So Sam's Club by far has the best deal and that's where I mainly buy my beads at just because they are pricier. So unless I get them in bulk, I really won't buy them just because of the cost but they make all the difference in laundry. It really does make your clothes smell so much stronger. So if you guys enjoy a strong scent in your laundry like me, definitely pick up some beads. It makes a huge difference. Everything is wrong. I'm trying to find a way to get you on my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. And of course, story of my life, I had an entire basket full of clothes that I needed to put away of the boys and then I added the little bit that I folded onto the basket. So we're gonna go ahead and put this away. I was so upset that jacket I just threw, the zipper broke on it and I was trying so hard to get it to work, but looks like I'm going to be buying Austin a new winter coat because that zipper was so messed up. I don't know how it got so bent. I'm not sure if it happened in the washer or what, but the, zip the zipper <laughs> was messed up. Hit you 
you up, I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I came in way too strong. Cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof. Bottle your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. Off my radar now. I've lost you. For the boys' clothes, since they do share this dresser, I really try to keep up with the KonMari method for folding just because it fits a lot more into the dresser and I'm squeezing so much inside of here. It does get a little messed up every once in a while because Austin will come in and like pull stuff out, but for the most part, it does stay pretty organized and I recently went through their stuff and decluttered a bit. So I made some room, but it's already starting to feel a bit tight in here. I probably need to invest in a bigger dresser because having two boys clothes in here, they're kind of outgrowing it. So that might be on my list of things to purchase in the future especially after we get the crib out of here and that's not taking up so much space, you know, then I might have some room to put a bigger dresser, but we'll see. This is working for now. I'm just making it fit as best as I can. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold. It's really a bad reception out there. I have been loving my new lint bin that I purchased off of Amazon. If you guys missed that video, I bought a magnet lint bin that goes on the side of my dryer. So whenever I clean out my lint, I just stick it inside the bin. And then whenever it gets full, you can dump it out. Best purchase because my laundry room is staying so much cleaner now. I don't have like tons of the lint on top of my dryer because I was so bad before. I would just shove it on top of the dryer and then, you know, by the time I took it out, I had lint everywhere and then I needed to clean the machines. So definitely a good investment if you guys were thinking about buying one. I definitely recommend. I'm really loving mine. Nothing's hard, everything is easy with you. So while the clothes are in the washer and dryer, I am heading back to Adrienne's room to tackle her mess. I mainly just need it to get the trash off of the floors and kind of declutter the top of her dresser. That was really the only spots that needed some attention. So I'm going to go ahead, get that cleaned up, and then we're going to vacuum in here. That way it looks nice and tidy. Easy when you come around. 
I thought I was done, but I did notice tons of fingerprints on her TV. So what I like to do to clean the screens of TVs is I just take a microfiber cloth and just dampen it the slightest bit. Like I just pick one little spot on the towel to get wet and I use that to initially wipe it down and then I'll flip over the towel to the dry side and wipe it clean and it always leaves it super spotless and streak free, no products needed. So definitely recommend giving that a try, but you do have to keep in mind if you've used products on your TV before and then you try to clean it this way, it might leave some streaks. You kind of have to keep wiping with some water just to get all of that residue off first. And then it'll, you know, every single time after that, it'll just wipe clean so easily because my husband is a over user of cleaning products like whenever he cleans he cleans with like a whole bottle of cleaner like he goes crazy so whenever I went to go clean his TV he had so much product on there I thought I was never gonna get it off I was like goodness gracious what did he use <laughs> but I'm sure for the typical person you don't have that much cleaner on your surfaces what you long for oh i want what you want you left me empty handed if y'all watched my previous video then you know that both of my girls recently had gotten strep throat we made a big trip to visit my papa in louisiana it was a over a 10 hour drive and when we came back they both ended up getting strep throat and i was so worried that the whole family was going to end up catching it but thank goodness i think because we caught it like so early on like as soon as their throats started hurting i took them into the urgent care so i don't know if it was because of that or what but thankfully the antibiotics worked and the girls are feeling so much better they're back to normal and no one else ended up getting it thank goodness but i was shocked i didn't get it because as a kid i got strep throat all of the time that was like the sickness that i always seemed to catch so i was shocked that i didn't end up getting it but i am so thankful because you guys strep throat is awful if you guys have had it before I'm sure you know, that is like the worst pain. My parents would always have me gargle with warm salt water and ugh, so gross. And so now whenever the girls or you know any of the kids, whenever they catch it, I'm like, let's gargle with um, salt water. And they're like, no, please, no. <laughs> so it's so funny because they also like have just that memory of strep throat and gargling salt water so the tradition continues <laughs> but as you can see I'm now heading into the kitchen this is where Ethan was playing with the play-doh and he is down for his nap so I'm gonna quickly clean this up he had it all over the floor too so I'm gonna sweep it up and wipe down the countertop I recently got in my Grove box and this is the first time I'm trying this scent Pear Tree by Mrs. Myers. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have used it before. What do you think about it? I was shocked. Like this scent to me did not match the name. Like I don't smell pear in that at all. Let me know if you guys smell pear, but it smells like a perfume to me. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Like I think it smells so good but nothing like pears. <laughs> I was like, what? I don't know. I was completely thrown off and confused, but I definitely do love this scent. So if you guys like a perfume, strong scent, definitely check out Pear Tree by Mrs. Myers because it does smell amazing, but it just doesn't smell like pears. <laughs>
Y'all will not believe what happened this week. I seriously felt like the worst mom ever. I could not believe this happened. But you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I recently got the Peloton and I've been working out at home a lot more. And I was doing one of the Peloton workouts and it was like a light arm workout. And as I was holding my three pound weights and doing my, you know, my workout, I go to raise my weights up like waist high and as soon as I go to raise them up out to the side, Ethan comes running at the same time and it ends up hitting him right in the eyebrow. You guys, I felt so awful, like it happened so fast. It sliced open his eyebrow. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, like is he gonna need stitches? But thankfully after, you know, I calmed down and he calmed down, it was just a small little cut. Um, thankfully, he didn't end up needing stitches. It stopped bleeding, everything was okay. By the next day, it looked so much better. But you guys, I felt like the worst mom ever. I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe I didn't see it coming. Like, ugh, it was awful, but just thought I'd share that mom moment with you that happened to me three days ago, but thankfully his eye is doing good. It was swollen like pretty bad. I'll put a picture at the end of this video for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about, but oh my gosh, you guys, it just happened so fast. I thought it was gonna, I thought for sure he was gonna have like a black and blue eye, but it swole up and it was purple for a little bit, but by the next day it was all down and you know it was already starting to close up and I'm like oh my goodness it was so crazy I think I felt worse than he did like oh I just couldn't believe that happened It is now like six o'clock in the afternoon and I am hustling to get through the last two loads of laundry. I actually had to fold this one super quick because I had to take my husband to a poker night. He was going out with some friends from work and he needed me to drop him off. So I was trying to quickly fold this laundry and then head off to take him to his poker night and then come back and finish the last and final load. So excited, a final load that needs to be folded. So we're pulling it out of the dryer. Of course, Ethan wanted to help me. And if you guys notice his little slippers that he has on, those are actually his sisters. Both of the girls have matching pairs of slippers and Adrian was wearing hers and he wanted to match. So he was walking around wearing those bunny slippers and it was just so funny and so cute on him. They were like 12 sizes too big, but it was adorable.
I wanted to update y'all on my 25,000 subscriber mystery box that I'm going to be giving away to one lucky subscriber. I finally have everything that I want to put into the box. So I will be making the announcement of the box and like how to enter in on my next video. So make sure you guys come back for my next video coming out this Sunday. Be sure to turn your notification bell on that way you're alerted first and all of that i'm super excited to give back and just for one of you guys to get this box i'm just super excited so make sure you guys are subscribed all right you guys that's going to do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and got tons of cleaning motivation if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel and I truly appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I would love to have you here. I do upload every single week, tons of cleaning motivation, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.